What's up guys, it's Connor aka Con Ogre coming at you again with another quick little update. Um, so a couple of things to talk about today. Um, to start, I don't know if you can tell change of my voice because I'm very sick and unfortunately <clears throat> I did something with my jaw today. It's just so 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 painful. Right side of my uh, jaw is just, it seized right up, I can hardly close my mouth. So I'm in a lot of pain, I don't know if I'm going to be doing much pain this weekend. <clears throat> But, um, as far as, uh, updates go, um, I have finished the two Saber Tusks completely. I'm so, so, so happy with how they turned out. wonder if the light will do any justice for those. Probably not. Just blowing everything out of proportion, I think. Yeah. Get the, get those nice color mixes when the, so you get the highlight on those, but it goes very dark at the top. Wet blending. You know, with the very uh, bright underbellies. Um, I even went in and did the ribs with a lighter color. Um, really happy with how they turned out. Really happy. And the bases really brought them together. <clears throat> so those guys are done. Now on that note of painting, I've hit kind of like a, a wall... It happened to me last night when I finished uh, this ogre. Now, by no means did he turn out badly. He's, I think he turned out really well. Um, you know, the rusting effects looked great and all that jazz. But I hit these walls where like, I lose all of my main motivation to like paint at a very um, fast level. And that's fast for me. Like I see guys on here that just spit paint jobs out there like nobody's business but I can't paint that fast and when I paint too fast I start to um, not lose interest in the hobby that's not it at all I just I lose uh, interest in I don't really know how to explain it but I just instead of wanting to sit here and paint like I do you know I'll be thinking of all, all day I'll be like oh, I want to come home I want to paint an ogre and I'm excited about it but I lose that excitement and that happens when I've painted for too many consecutive days for too long. Um, and uh, unfortunately I hit that wall. Now it's not going to last long. I just think I'm going to take kind of the weekend off from painting and we back to it. Because even then, all we, all we got to do, um, do now is one more ogre. I lost his... Don't tell me I lost his iron fist. It's around here somewhere. Not that matters. I got a whole thing full of them. So I got him left to do. My saber tusks are done. Now, something to talk about. Check this out. This came in for me today. Order form. Can you guys read that from there? Can I even read that from here? What the hell does it say? Pirate Man Eater. Check it out. And keep in mind I've already opened this. Because I wanted to unbox this with you guys. Because that's how much you guys mean to me. You better have just shed a tear. That's some deep shit. Here it is. And that's all it comes with. No head, no arms. No, I'm just kidding. All these pieces. I will be following Warboss Tay's tutorial on this. Tutorial. He did a really great job on that uh, Ogre Man Eater, so I'm going to do likewise. The only thing I'm really pissed off about is that he used all the old colors for his. And I went and checked at what colors I still have from that old line that he was using. The answer is basically none. Um, he used Keratin Granite, which was a fantastic paint. Um, for his pants and his hat. Now, my carrot and granite was as hard as a rock. The substitute, which is um, storm vermin fur, is not nearly the same as what it, as what um, carrot and granite was. I think I might go. Oh, gee, my my voice is cracking. And everything. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> my voice is really messed up today. Um. Skaven Blight Dinge. It's a little bit darker. 
or I'm, I might just go with the Storm Raven for not a little bit of black. We'll see. Um, something else I got. I noticed my painting quality was going down a little bit, and that's always an indication I need some new brushes. So I got two new brushes, uh, fine detail, and a uh, standard brush. These aren't actually new. I've had these for a long time. I just I keep them in reserve until shit hits the fan. Um, so, you know, I wanted to keep this video brief because... Uh, I'm just going to upload it through uh, iMovie or whatever. Uh, just, ah, man, man. Really, really pain. Like, in a lot, oh, seriously, in a lot of pain. Like, my jaw is just killing me. It's brutal. Um, oh, you know what I just spotted, too? Fine cast bubble right on the bottom of his crotch. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Um, this I'm super excited to paint this guy, though. It's going to be so challenging. It's going to take a long time. I'm going to make this guy like maybe like a week project or something like that. I say that, but once I get back into the swing of things, it'll, I'll probably finish with like two days or something like that. Because I'll just go hard on them. Um, when I first got into Ogres, I didn't actually like uh, Man Eaters that much. Um, even though they have an impressive stat line, which I'm going to grab right now and show you guys. They were just something that never really interested me. So, the backstory on a um, ogre man eater is that they are basically these ogres that have um, been in many campaigns and they fought through many battles. And these guys are doing these in far off lands, so they're leaving their tribes behind and they're going uh, through the world and being mercenaries. Because you can understand that. In, you know, the normal world, an ogre rolling up on a camp and be like, hey, I'll fight for you guys. Like, a regular human who's going up to this guy's knee be like, yeah, we want you to fight with us. So, an ogre running around in the right places can make a lot of money. In this case, this guy was a pirate. Um, the shield he comes with, uh, in the GW scheme anyways, it's painted up in like a, um, in a blue and silver, which is the uh, Empire Navy color scheme. So, it's indicating that he's over in that area, which is the east in the map, I believe. You know, he's got the, got all the cool stuff, the Noblar, that's dressed like a pair, it's super cool. But back to the stat line, leadership of eight, he's got four attacks, if he's a captain, five, that's very impressive. Wounds, three, toughness, four, strength, five, uh, BS, WS, four, so weapon skill, plus six skill. Movement, six. So, I mean, basic ogre with, um, with more... Uh, strength basically um, but where they really shine is they've been there done that so when you have a, a, a unit of ogres sorry a unit of uh, man eaters you can give them uh, immune to psychology poison attacks scouts sniper strider stubborn swift stride vanguard what I've heard of people doing and, and of course you can give them pistols brace pistols the list goes on so what I've heard of people doing is getting a big group of these guys oh I better just throw this guy in here just for yeah. um you know, to be really scary, you can do um, sniper, poison attacks, and then give the group of, let's say, six guys, six man-eaters, um, um, a banner of eternal flame, I think it's called. So now you get uh, sniper, poisoned, flaming attacks, all firing off at, you know, let's say a BSB or something like that. Very scary. Now, what I was saying before is that when I first got these guys, I didn't like them. When I, when I first looked at the book, I said, why the hell do you want that? I, I want these ogres that are coming down from the mountains. I'll cover them fur. They're dirty. These guys don't ring off to me in that way. But, you know, the more and more I started painting stuff, these really, like, high-quality models started appealing to you more and more. And I think what put it over the edge for me was learning how big they were in comparison to other ogres. Now, this guy doesn't even have the head on him. But you can see, like... He's big. Like, he's very big. He's twice as fat around as the other ogre. Got way bigger chests. And now there's a running joke about me and nipples going around. He's got, he's got nice nipples. <laughs> um, you know, the big metal plates on the back of him and all that junk. He's just a much bigger guy than a normal ogre. And that's, you know, that makes sense. He's got more strength. This guy has done nothing but fight in wars. He, um... Uh, the you know the lore of these guys is that um, you know it costs people an arm and a leg to hire them, 
they cost so much gold and you need to feed them and you know unless the uh the alcohol and, and food keeps flowing you know they're just as likely to jump on the other side if they're paying more so you got to keep them happy and they're a real force to be reckoned with so i'm very excited to get this man eater and you know just as well you know now i have my other man eater from gh so i'm gonna have two man eaters um and of course brag i'm using brag uh with my banner he's gonna be my bsb for the uh man eater unit you know he's kind of executed he looks like a man eater honestly and the only problem with uh brag is that he's like a baby ogre he's so small in compared to comparison to other ogres but i think in a man eater group how they all are supposed to look really different from each other from doing different things i think it's really going to work well so that's going to be three out of the six already uh, and i believe my girlfriend's probably getting me a man eater or two for valentine's day <laughs> Which would be really cool. Well, we'll see. I'd be happy with chocolates. Well, let's be honest. I'd rather have a man eater. But we won't tell her that. Okay, guys. I'm going to end it there. Man, my jaw hurts. Um, so, I mean, hopefully... Uh, I'll post up some nice pictures of the Saber Tusks tonight. Because I'm just so proud of how these guys turned out. I just need to get my hands on some chariot bases now. And I'll be off and away with... Uh, my um, my wolves. I think I got five of them here. Okay, one, two, three, yeah, five. You know, and then I got one more ogre, and then I'm basically out of stuff besides man eaters. But I'm gonna keep having the steady stream of man eaters coming in. Hopefully, the stone horn, the iron blaster. I don't know when the hell I'm gonna get these done. I just I don't have the drive to do them right now, but I'm gonna get it soon. I've got reading week coming up. Maybe that'll be the time. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.